Nearly all indigenous governments in the Northwest Territories signed on to a big deal last week. It unlocked $375 million in federal and private funding for conservation over 10 years. Now they'll need to make decisions about how and where the money is used. The CBC's Lini Lambrink joins us now with more. So Lini, remind us what this deal is all about. More than 20 Indigenous governments signed this deal last week. It's called NWT Our Land for the Future. Basically, it's a promise to work together to use $375 million for conservation initiatives. $300 million comes from the federal government, $75 million comes from private donors. Okay, so we don't know exactly what the money will be used for yet in terms of specifics, but I understand we have a pretty good idea, Lini. Yeah, so the agreement says its primary purpose is to establish Indigenous protected and conserved areas. And each Indigenous government has already named areas where they want to do more stewardship. The agreement says it could protect 17% of land in the NWT by the end of its 10 years. The secondary focus is conservation-related activities that don't have to do with a protected area. Guardian programs, climate research, ecotourism, and some land use planning are all types of things that could be funded. There are a lot of people and governments involved in this agreement. So how do they all decide where the money gets used and who gets to make that decision? So the agreement lays out a whole governance process for this. Basically, there are a number of roles that now need to be filled. Directors who get to sit on a governance committee appear to get the most say in what happens with the money. There can be up to seven of them. Indigenous partners get to name five. Private donors get to name two. They will manage the trust from which the money will flow and decide what activities will qualify for funding. Each Indigenous government who signed the agreement also gets to name a partner. That partner sits at a partner's table. They'll meet once a year. They're tasked with more of an oversight role, making sure the agreement's purpose, vision, and objectives are carried out. Those will help guide conversations about where to put the money. The vision is to support Indigenous-led stewardship of land and water, and also to help Canada meet its goal to protect 30% of its land by 2030. The objectives are to preserve biodiversity, support cultures, build capacity, and contribute to healthy economies. The agreement says supporting Indigenous guardians will be central to these goals. Now that the agreement is signed, Indigenous governments will name their partners, and those partners will all meet next year. And I'm sure we'll follow it up when that happens. Lini, thank you so much. Thank you.